Hi, Pookie. Hello. What are we doing today? Today, we are installing BC Racing Coils on a 2006 Dodge Viper. Ooh. Brand new inbox stuff. Everybody loves that. We got Mr. Nate Boston Tea Party going through all the parts, make sure they're all there. Nothing's weird. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. They design it to where the bolt hits the sway bar link. You have to take the sway bar link out to get the bolt out. So I'm gonna put it in from the other side when I'm done. Interesting. Dummies. That's gotta be the easiest sway bar link I've ever set up to. <laughs> Um, 14. Maybe 15. You've worked on Corvettes, right? Zach? Yeah. Now they have the multiple drive Oh, plates. yeah, because they have two low spots. Yeah, this one only has one. And it's like a little flat thing. Three thirty fives. This is like three threads in. Oof. And it's at like, like right here is like 15 and three quarters. Um, go for 15 and a half then. Just so it's like a little bit? Yeah. Ish. Okay, I'll measure it. Are these the same? Like they're both sideways? So it'll be like that? Um, or yes, gonna they're both sideways. Okay. Say it again. The design in the rear is the same as the front. You just have two mounting bolts, top and bottom. So you've got the long, bottom one that's really long, goes across the whole thing, and you just disengage it from just the two bolts. Fair enough. But it's supposed see, to be interior. The handbrake has its own caliper. Yeah. That's neat. That's On a factory car. On a factory car. Nice. Oh, they are gonna make me take out the fender liner. For what? I can't get the clearance to get the shred out. On the top? Yeah. Because I would have to bring it down quite a large sum. I'm not sure I can get the pry for that. Give me my biggest pry bar! <laughs> yes, sir. I try to bypass everything. <laughs> biggest pry bar coming. <laughs> Doofy from Scary Movie. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. 335s. So Zach, why are the rears harder than the fronts or why do they call for more hours typically on a Viper on the rear? In the rear of the Viper, there's not near as much clearance upwards even with the fender liner out of the way. So you're pretty much hitting a hard metal surface immediately. So you don't have any room to scoot the coil forward and drop it straight down with it being a rear wheel drive platform. Nice. Now you're on the last corner doing the factory suspension, trying to pull it out. That is correct. Freedom! So making the switch to the BC racing coils from the factory suspension, one of his struts was already blown out. They quoted a heck of a lot more money just to do the two factory fronts than it's costing him to buy brand new coils all around and have them installed. So we're throwing out with the old, in with the new. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of height difference. BCs on this car are naturally going to lower it about an inch, even if you max out the height adjustment. Um, what we're doing is we're best basically setting the dampening right in the middle for a kind of medium ride so he can kind of choose what he wants. Um, we're going to set the ride height as close to possible or factory as possible. And then with that, we're going to let him drive it around, break the suspension in, and then we'll set his final ride height when we're doing the alignment here in a couple weeks. There we go. Dope. It's pretty close. Yeah, we're just going to fine tune it. Try it right there. Do it again. Nice. Okay, keep going. Okay. Uh, just a little love tap. A little harder. A me a mediocre. Okay, that's good. It's just got to come forward now. Okay. So you guys are just hitting that because the bushings are so stiff? Yeah. They're just really tight in there. The tolerances are 
you know, built to fit. So when you pull over, they're solid. The other ones had the rubber bushings. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this thing on the ground. It's gonna look so good. Yeah. Either that, or it's you know kind of gonna look the exact same. By the way, you look really cute with dirt on your face. Thanks. Can I put the wheels on any of these? Um. Wheels are going back on, and then we'll get this thing on the ground and check right height. Right, Zachy? That's right. Go for it. Woo. <laughs>